Oh my god, he couldn't get it. Oh my god! Good god! Why? Why? Of all things, you had to Penenka him as well. We are back finally with another Red Star Belgrade video. Red Star Belgrade taking on SC Copenhagen in the third and final round of the Champions League qualifying group stage before we hit the playoffs version. Uh, and, and before we get to that, I just really want Red Star... Guys, let's face it. I'm going to be very, very biased in these in these videos, both the first and second leg. I really want this uh, Serena Svezba team to make it. I mean, this Red Star Belgrade squad itself, this Serbian squad itself, the fans are amazing. The players are, are of course quality, you know, the likes of, of Pavkov, among many, many others on this squad, they are, they're fun to watch, I mean, I, I feel like I fell in love with them last year when they beat Liverpool at home, uh, and they just, uh, sort of the atmosphere that it had was, like, second to none, I feel like, in the Champions League, which is why I want them to be back in the Champions League once again, uh, so we're gonna take a look at the highlights from the Red Star Belgrade versus FC Copenhagen video, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on this contest and on this, this sort of tie in itself down in the comments below, let's get into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Good through ball. Copenhagen look like they're up for it at least. As soon as I say that, okay, as soon as I say what the, what happened here? Oh my goodness, it took a deflection. He would not have made that shot. Talk about a, like a, a 180 no scope. He straight, he, the guy went straight from not looking at the goal whatsoever, like having to head it down, not looking at the goal, to shooting and it just going right over the goal he's head. You can't, I, he's not even far off his line either. That's just really unlucky. Big yikes on that scenario. I don't know about that, Chief. That works. I mean, that that's perfect, though. If, if you if you wanted to score a goal that way, that's the perfect way to do it. Is that the man Pavkov again? Is it really him again? Oh my goodness. He, I feel like he's, I swear to God, Milan Pavkov scores in just about every single Red Star Belgrade home game. He, wow, he actually does, though. Oh, whoops. Got a little bit of skip. Oh, uh, 50, a 50 50 header in the, in the box. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, just based on these highlights alone, I feel like Red Star were at least somewhat dominant. I mean, in creating chances, maybe not in converting those chances, but. I mean, this is the same team that could go head to head, you know, with the likes of uh, Chelsea or Barcelona. These are the types of squads that you know, they find ways to, to essentially beat up teams like that or, or that or wear teams out that way club Bruges and PSV I feel like are two last year that also did the same thing but oh my goodness that's a penalty you can't get in his world what were you thinking Okay, this is a little disappointing, but I mean, I guess they had to get a goal somehow. I feel like every, I feel like every single Champions League tie that was played today in some way, shape, or form ended up in a draw. Oh my God, he couldn't get it. Oh my God. You had to Penenka him as well, adding insult to injury in a game that they had probably the better opportunities in. They. Ugh. Red Star Belgrade, you guys better demolish Copenhagen at home. This is triggering. He just, he laid an absolutely hit. He laid a hit on your goalkeeper. Your goalkeeper's life is like over. Wow. Um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna. 
I, I was able to catch uh, the majority of the second half of this contest. Uh, specifically, I was just out, you know, like running random ads and stuff. But this second half of this contest was actually more of an even game, at least in the stats, we're able to tell. Uh, Copenhagen did have several, several opportunities. They just couldn't find themselves in the final third to create shots on goal. Uh, Red Star had the exact opposite. They were able to create those shots on goal, but they weren't able to, you know, convert those as well. So both teams kind of failing in the sense of, of finishing it off in the attacking third. The, the Red Star goal was rather lucky itself, so I mean, the fact that they gave up a penalty in the end, it, it bodes well for, I guess, both teams. It makes it sound fair, but Penenka did. Did you really have to? Did you really have to? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the match down in the comments below, and peace.